Oh, I'm straight up getting like all the kits. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can, I I can get you. Dude! <laughs> Calm down! <laughs> You're actually being fat right now, TP! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season 24. And let me just say, out of all the seasons I've played, this one is most likely going to be the best season yet. There are so many new features that I can get into in this video, and I don't even think I'll be able to cover them all. I'll run through the changelog with you guys, but there's so many new features, and I am so excited for this. Now, I get you're probably going to be watching this video like a week after the season actually resets, because to be honest, that's probably the earliest that I can get it out. But hopefully, I'll make it worth the wait. It. I got a lot of stuff planned for this video and in case you can't tell I've already been playing quite a lot It's mostly just been mining if I'm being honest because that's what you do in the beginning of the season because you need to get money You got to afford all these custom items all the G sets all that good stuff You got to afford it so first few days of the season all you're doing is pretty much just mining now before I get into like anything in the actual server we're gonna take a step back and we're gonna look at the changelog anyways right here is the changelog it has literally everything that's new that they added not a huge fan of the background color but it's whatever <laughs> first up here we have the fog of war event pretty much this happens every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time it is literally just a free-for-all event where you can kill people in your faction or not in your faction or whatever it is Anyone can kill anyone, pretty much. Now, one interesting thing with this is name tags are actually disabled. So, during this event, you say you want to just team with, like, your friend. You actually can't, because you don't know who he is. It could be anyone, because no one has a name tag. Now, randomly at the start of the event, there's going to be someone marked as a king. And pretty much, they'll get a crown on their head. I'm not entirely sure how it works, because this event hasn't happened yet. It won't happen for about another week. But anyways, whoever has the crown, pretty much every second, they get another point. And at the end of the event, whoever has the most crowns will win. I guess there's top three players win, pretty much. I'm not sure exactly what type of rewards they'll receive, but I'm, I'm so excited for this. And I'll get into more of this later. I'll make it like a dedicated video on this, because this is actually such a cool event. Now, this is another really cool thing that they've added is refinements. I've got one in my ender chest that I can show you guys. It's not really the best one. It's for a bow. So, <laughs> but anyways, you get random like crystals that you can use to refine the stats of your sword, armor, bows, or pickaxes. And pretty much right here, you guys can read them off. These are all seven of the different types of refinements that you can get. Now, another thing that they added that's going to be kind of nice for me since I am actually the leader of my faction, more or less. I don't know. I'll, I'll get into that later. But they've added new permissions, so you guys can read through these if you want. A lot of these are going to be really nice. Once again, from last video, I'm getting into this again. There's a slash filter command and a slash loot, which allows you to get items that are dropped on the ground if you got the kill at outpost. No one else can pick them up for five seconds or whatever. There's a couple of other just random miscellaneous features that they've added. I'll let you guys read through that if you want. Now, instead of releasing a new limited time rank, I think what they've done this season is released a bundle. So pretty much for $42.99, you get the Hecate, Hecat rank i don't know how to say that and it also comes with a krampus g kit shard which you have a chance of unlocking or you just get it once there's gonna be a link down below in the description for their shop if you guys want to go buy it go ahead <laughs> a couple of other things that i think are really interesting here is they've added mining scrolls dolabrus of astas potion of flight dirt generators just a couple of really cool interesting features that you can kind of explore this season the two that i'm most excited for out of these is going to be this right here which doubles your relic chance on a pickaxe. Which that, plus some of the other features I was getting into up there, can really make mining super overpowered. And then on top of that, there's also something called relic pockets. I can show a clip on screen of me finding one right now since, you know, I was doing a lot of mining. <laughs> They're actually really interesting. There's a chance of getting like one up to 40 relics or something like that from it balances obviously not really the crazy most important features you guys can read through it if you want a couple of bug fixes miscellaneous information that's kind of that's kind of stuff that you guys can read if you really want to i can also leave a link to this post in the description as well but anyways i think we've talked enough about the change log I want to get into what I've done so far in this season. Now hear me out, the season's been out for three or four days now, and yes, this is my ender chest. <laughs> I did not make this, someone gave this hair sword to me. I found this Greek crate while mining in the wild. Then I've got 
a ton of relics, which I'll get decrypting later after I go through this all. I want to make sure they're decrypting though, because this will probably take a ton of time to go through. Then I've got these enchanted emeralds. One of them is a two times relic chance modifier, which is just personal. So for one hour, I get double the relics. And then there's also a 1.5 times relic chance modifier. That's the whole server. And then I got another one of these that I got in my last video. I don't really know what it is for. PVP token. <laughs> I've got a couple of kits. Yes, I do have a YouTube kit. And then my girlfriend actually found this one while mining. I was showing her the server and she actually found this from a treasure chest. So I was kind of like, hey, yo, hear me out. <laughs> so I'm just borrowing it so I can show you guys kind of what it is and what it looks like. I've got a couple of custom enchant books. One of them is a Wrath of Hera. I did not get that. Someone gave it to me. And then the most important thing here is this G pickaxe. Once again, this is not mine. <laughs> I stole it from Xeon Gaming. He's already like level 24 or 28 or something crazy like that. And I'm only level 16, so I still need to do mining before I can actually grind their skeletons that they have. Anyways, I think I've done enough waiting around. I want to get these relics decrypting. I, I haven't opened any relics this whole season because I've just been waiting till I record this video. Where is this dude? There's supposed to be a relic decryptor somewhere around here. I'll probably end up having to open these at like the end of the video. One other thing I've really wanted to do is open up this Greek crate. It's nothing new, but getting one of these things is really cool. They give you a ton of different rewards. I'm not sure if any of the new stuff is also added into this. I'll just have to figure this out. I want to actually go in the normal wild to open this. <laughs> Let's just place it down. Wish me luck, guys. Come on. Come on. Uh, a book. I don't know what that is. It's in my hand. Uh, please be like a Wrath or something good or Rebirth. Wrath of Hera. I got another one of these. I don't know what they actually do. One other thing I have is a ton of level up rewards because I haven't bothered to claim any of them yet. So I'm just going to quick run through, claim all these, and see what type of rewards I get. So I got some kits from that, as well as some crate keys. So I'm going to go find where they got the crate keys this season and open them. Necromancer kit. Legendary key. 150k, 150k, 75k. Alright, come on, be something good. I've been told you can get some really good rewards from this. So please, give me something good. Okay, that's... No, no. No. <laughs> now, one other thing I kind of want to address here is my faction situation. Currently, my faction is sitting right here at 17th. Of course, I'm going to name it Aristia just because that's been my faction name for a while now, and I, I want to stay consistent. But then our allies right here, Paradise, we're pretty much the exact same faction, but just two factions that are allied. Now, in the other faction, Xeon here is the leader of it. They've already got a claim i guess i didn't know that but that's that's pretty cool <laughs> they've got a value of 58 million i don't have access to that claim but i think it'd be really cool if i did now one other thing that i haven't really checked this season that i usually like to check a couple of days in is top balance and how do people have 100 million <laughs> i don't understand people are level 38 now i think this here is pretty cool though we got 58 million value i wish i could actually use those spawners to grind but i don't have enough levels i don't think pretty much throughout this next week i'm just gonna be doing a lot more mining i want to get my level up so i can start grinding with our mob spawner and then ideally after that i i can actually start working on our own base and we might end up joining it up with what paradise has right now but i'm not entirely sure yet now one last thing before i get into the pvp which i know you're all waiting for just for me to get destroyed in outposts and probably take my first death this season last night while i was mining someone gave me coordinates to what they told me was really good loot so i want to go over there and find it i probably have to do a bunch of slash wilds before i get into the relative vicinity of the coordinates and then i'll just run over there from that all right he told me it was on a dirt block with a rose which i'm thinking is this right here it better not be taken where oh i thought i got scammed all right what's in here come on I'm really excited for this. I was gonna go there last night, but I figured this would be pretty good content, so I, I just wanna see what's inside. Oh my gosh. So we got some forge dust, so that's gonna be actually really nice. Hopefully I can use that to get my pickaxe up to treasure finder three. We got a ton of kits here, a couple of swords, and then, oh, this is nice. Just a ton of custom enchants. Like, I want to drink a strength potion to just try to kill someone. But, oh, I just, I have the feeling I'll die, but I gotta try it at least. I got an idea. 
If I go slash spawn, I can disguise. They'll never know it's me. They probably will since they're mods, but you know. I'm free box 388. All right, you know what? It'll have to work. <laughs> All right, the server restarts in three minutes. So this is kind of a freebie. I can just go outpost, nothing wrong, nothing bad's gonna happen. Where, where is the outpost? I never remember. I don't know where to go. Nothing sus, guys, nothing sus. <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh no, I, I'm gonna regret this. I'm getting bullied. How do you- how are you gapping again? No, this isn't fair. I only got a- I got a minute and a half. I can do this. I can do this. I can live here. I don't have to die. <laughs> Interpret has activated. What? I don't get it. What does Interpret do? Is that the Shion sword? What? Oh no! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm so gonna die. Guys, chill. <laughs> no. No, there's like a mimic of him or something. I don't like this one bit. Come on, random dude, help. Help me, random dude. You gotta help me here. <laughs> oh no. I'm off gap, aren't I? Yeah. Nope, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. I got the gap off! I'm the best in the game. I'm so rusty, guys. Oh my gosh. It also might just be the fact that this armor and the sword suck. I don't really know what's good or not, though. That's the issue. Alright, I'm gonna be losing my regen soon. Which is not good. I'm, s I'm all out of health pots. So if I die here, I'm I'm done, you know? I got a pearl, I got a pearl, I got a pearl. I gotta run. Come on. Get me out of here. Four, three, two, e cap, e cap. Whew. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even sad about that. Alright, so all my relics have decrypted now. Let's see what I got. It better be something good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. 5.8 million coins. 16,000 CEXP. 863 mob coins. 37 legendary keys. Almost 10,000 XP. And a ton of kits. Oh my gosh. Alright, I gotta put one of these on the decryptor now. These extra rare relics. Alright, I think I claim these rewards through the mailman. Your inbox, relic decryption rewards, oh my gosh. This is so much loot, I don't know what I'm even gonna do with all this. I've straight up got 19 hero kits. Like, what do I, what do I do with that? I don't understand. All right, whatever, let me open these keys now. All right, I've gone through everything, but I still have 38 legendary keys. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm getting G kits right now. 200K, 200K, master key. I hear you can get some actually decent rewards from this though, which is what I'm most excited for. This is just, I don't know. <gasps> Ooh, there we go. 1.5 times level XP modifier. So that's actually gonna be nice. All right, I wanna get something good here. I've only got like one decent thing. Oh, I got another. I got another XP modifier. I got two of them now. All right, give me one more. One more, come on. Come on, for the boys, last one. Please, please. All right, it's not over yet. All right, it's over. <laughs> but I think that's all I got for now. More videos coming next week same time same place you know what it is anyways have a great rest of your day and i will see you in my next upload